And hello again, Internet. Yes, here we are with yet another RPG, specifically yet another East game. Since I am a huge fan of this series, despite never playing that much of it, to be entirely honest, I've only played, like, I played the original 1 and 2 back on the Turbo Duo since they shipped with it, and was blown away by them, even though they shouldn't have done that to me. They really should not be that good of a game, especially you sit and play it. You realize that the play mechanics are kind of awful with the whole you're running with your sword in front of you, and yet it worked. And even when I went back and replayed it for the stream, it worked so well, I couldn't believe it. And I'd played, of course, um, East 6, which we haven't gotten to yet on the stream. We will eventually. Yep, even though I keep saying, no RPGs, yeah, I'm going to be doing RPGs. What can I say? I like RPGs. I really do. It's one of my favorite genres. Even if it takes forever to do them on the stream, it's not as long as some things were. We XCOM. Then again, XCOM's an RPG, so... At any rate, yeah, East. We are looking here at Memories of Celesta. Now, this is an interesting one. Is This is East 4, or more accurately, the third East 4. Yeah, there's a weird story behind that. I'm not 100% up on the lore of it. I think what happened was a different company got the rights for a little bit. I think. I could be entirely wrong. Or just different teams did it. And at any rate, we never got either of the other ones. So it kind of doesn't matter. And I'll, I'll kind of look that up more later. But yeah, this is the most recent release which does have a newer engine than the previous game I did and the next couple of East games I do. This is actually released more recently than those. Again, this was, I think, originally put on the PSP because why not? PSP was actually not the greatest of systems, or it might have been the Vita either way. Not the greatest of systems, but roleplay games really found a home on it. It's, it's amazing. You look at how many roleplay games got released on that system, especially niche Japanese titles that we normally wouldn't get here in the U.S. There were a lot of them released on the PSP. And as a fan of that genre myself, even though I'm not a huge fan of the PSP, I greatly appreciate that this happened. At any rate, a lot of those, fortunately, have since come to PC, which they're finding another audience for because that's the great thing about the PC Master Race we we welcome all genres with open arms let's get this going here and ooh oh we have difficulty selection no I'm not doing Nightmare Hard hard sounds right given the past couple East games hard sounds about right and that's one of the things about these games is like there's settings when you boot it up you can skip the entire story and just run through the game. These things are almost meant to be speedrun. I'm not going to, but it's a possibility. Adol Christian. Excuse me, Adol Christian. An adventurer of great renown whose exploits are widely discussed and hotly debated to this day. Did he shipwreck again? He probably shipwrecked again. His enterprises are recorded in over 100 volumes of personal travelogue, which paint a vivid picture of the world and set the imaginations of those who read them ablaze. He lied. He's a fiction author. He just sit there and wrote all the time. And he's like, he's like this world's version of Stephen King. Writes with both freaking hands, just constantly, except he self-inserts himself as a Mary Sue in all of his stories. There you go. That is the entirety of East Explained. Ah, mm. Thank you, bottle. Ah, I just got, I just got drink up my nose from the bottle. How does that even happen? The water kind of went blurp down on itself and splashed into my nose. Ah, y'all needed to hear that. Ah, mm. indeed, a significant number of historians continue to believe that the age of discovery came about as the result of Adol's travelogues and the thirst for adventure their contents spur. However, readers have often found themselves wondering at one point Adol Christian. Christian, born in a poor village high in the mountains, began referring to himself as Adventure. 
Historians and scholars have proposed countless theories to address this, yet in truth, the answer is recorded clearly in one particular volume of Adol's Travelogues. So this is where he becomes an adventurer! The adventure I am about to recount took place two years after Adol left his homeland. Eighteen years of age, his curiosity at its peak, where would his thirst for the unknown guide him next? And what wonders awaited him there? Nice background image. I'll give it that. Let us look back on the events which occurred in the great forest of... Salsita? S I've been pronounced... I have no idea how to pronounce these words. Celesta? It doesn't... Celesta doesn't work. Celsetta? Celsita? Whatever. And share Adol's passion for adventure and discovery. Whatever. It's words. Alright. Let's take a look at this. Now, I will admit, I actually looked at the first few minutes of this to see if it worked properly. So, definitely an upgraded engine. Which shouldn't be a surprise, considering the previous engine was 15 years old. Oh, that is an unfortunate walk animation. Oh, oh, look at that. We got sliding feet. And we still have sliding feet. This is something you got to be careful of. This happens a lot, I've noticed, man. Where the feet just slide along the ground. You got a walk animation, but the character's actual movement doesn't match the speed of the walk animation. So his feet are sliding around. Tisk tisk. Here is good old young haired youth. Quite bedraggled. A couple of miners are talking nearby. I'm not reading everything out. Oh, another gold mine. Competitive miner. Calm a miner. The Head Miner. You don't even give him by his name, just... I heard the Head Miner. Uh -huh. And they go all the way to the Great Forest. This is information we're going to need. Oh, so this takes place in California. Or Alaska, I guess. Mm -hmm. Seriously planning to start messing around in the forest? Oh, oh! See, now, now we have information. The Great Forest is a dangerous place. So even though Adol, Adol looks pretty dead on his feet, he had to stop and listen to the conversation. It's quite an interesting get-up he's wearing, too. I actually like the design of that character there. Five years since he came under Roman control. Roman, okay. The city has never been more active. Ha ha! New governor general soon. Nothing's gonna change. Okay, you just admitted that things are doing great in the town. Oh, it's not their fault. Yeah, but if nothing's gonna change, then so what? Line in their own pockets, and as soon as the money runs dry, the cycle starts over. That would be a change. But wait, hang on. Uh oh, important character purple hair. <laughs> Fucking anime tropes. That's not even, I guess it's an anime trope. It's an RPG here, but whatever. Looks like a Roman officer and pretty hot one at that. Yeah, that's a great way to get yourself beheaded. Oh, and we're at war with El Tago. I'm sure I mispronounced that. War is good for business. Again, you gotta stop and listen to conversations. When you're dying, it's important to have backstory and exp exposition. God, I can't even talk. Watch it, you idiots. And dead. Couldn't even muster the energy to stand up. Kids these days, no backbone at all. 
What a jerk. Smacks you, walks off, and dead. Cool. All right, well, that was a short game. Hey, Shy. Where am I? Who? Who am I? Who am I? That's a good Jackie Chan movie. Just laying in the rain. There you go. There's your opening. Now, I'm sure he shipwrecked to get here because that's what he does. Oh, look, look he's dead. Oh, Jesus. He is dead. That was literally his tombstone. Wow. Or at least a tombstone dedicated to him. Someone thought he was dead. Rockin' music. Oh, this music's gonna get me flagged. God damn it. Oh, this music is probably going to get my channel flagged because, oh, you can't play music on your channel? It's from the game, for crying out loud. I mean, it's decent music, too. I actually rather like it, but I have to talk over it as much as possible, and uh, I don't even know if I can do all that because I'm sitting here watching. I mean, look, I like the animation, too. It's not full animation. They're just animating a little bit of it to give it the illusion, but it works. It works really well. And now we got... Okay, this looks like it's actually done 3D cell shading. No, it, it still looks possibly hand-drawn. Just, like, different parts of it are moving. I don't know what that animation style is called. I actually do have an app, though, that's designed to actually do this style of animation. It's really easy on computer stuff. It, it would suck for hand-drawn animation, but for computer stuff, it makes for a... It's, it gives it a kind of a weird feel. Because it is completely unnatural looking, but it's a style. It works. It's not quite like the smudge animation you see in other things. If you know what I'm talking about there, it's like where they have an actually fully still image. There's no individual elements of the image that move, but they'll like have part of the image moving back and forth or expanding, contracting, one of those type of filters. So it looks like the image is getting smudged around and give it the illusion of movement that way. Whereas this, they're actually animating individual elements. Like, you'll have the hair that he can move the hair around, even though the head doesn't move. Goodness, life is full of surprises. See, I had to review something. I had to actually review something during the music. So now they can't claim that I wasn't doing anything. I was, no. I was reviewing. Fuck off. To think that someone would wind up collapsed in a heap in the middle of a bustling city like this. Oh my god, it's Hitler in the background! This is Hitler's Inn! Seriously, holy crap! Why would they design the character like that? <laughs> wow! Uh, thank you for helping me. I don't remember anything. Well, aren't you an interesting young man? No! I have amnesia! Help me! I can't look after you just because you say you've lost your memories. You have to deal with that on your own. Wow! This place is awful! One guy just knocks your ass out and leaves you in the, on the ground in the rain. Someone else... Oh, I can't help you. Sorry. Mm -mm. Alright, you can rest here. That's it! Okay, that actually is... Probably what he needs is somewhere to sleep for a night. Is that you at all? We have voice acting. Let's see who this guy is. There you are. I finally found you. It's me, your old pal Duran. Okay, his hair is blue. I know it says silver haired man and it has silver in the picture down there. But his hair is blue. Like, come on, guys, do better than that. I told you to let me know if you managed to make it back alive. I love this though. This is when he is the adventurer. He's been out for two years, and apparently he's making his way back to places he's already been. I mean, isn't that what the third game was also? Yeah, who are you? Who's it all? Who are you? I'm gonna go with who are you. Uh-oh. It's like... 
You know, he's got a point there. He literally did just mention his name. However, that doesn't really answer the question of who you are. But do any of us really know who we are? Uh, okay. No, he's... Okay, I actually I liked that. Just thunk down into the chair. You did it. I can't believe you came back alive from the Great Forest. So obviously that place kills people. Well, he's happy. Well, that might be why he has complete amnesia. Now we have a hook. Spani and Rom. Both keep their distance. There's no map to be found. So now, so what? Now we gotta go back in there and find out what happened? But hey, at least you didn't shipwreck this time. You're my favorite source of money. <laughs> my dearest friend, you pay me. All right. You're an information dealer. Okay, don't skip on the details. Like, dude, I have total fucking amnesia. <laughs> I have no idea who you are. I have no idea who I am. <laughs> That's the worst thing to tell an information dealer. I have nothing. You're the information dealer. You tell me. Oh, hey, we got we got drinks now. I don't know, let's go back in and find out what could possibly happen again. I already forgot! I have amnesia! God, I'm in a good mood today. This is gonna end badly. Oh, we're going back in the forest. You know it. Of course we're going back in the damn forest. Why wouldn't we? Oh! Oh, you couldn't actually animate him going from sitting to... Well, actually, you could animate it. But this is now a different instance of the character. Did you notice that quick little cut there? Yeah, the character that got up out of the chair, they had to remove that model and put the standing Durin in. They couldn't actually have the same entity, because he's going to probably walk off or something. And they couldn't figure out how to have the same entity do both. So there's one version that stands up and another version that is standing and walks off. It's no bad deal when I hear one. Huff huff. What's wrong? Yeah, I'm sure you do. Oh, this is sounding familiar. Monsters in the mine? We've never heard of that before. Well, the tunnel does go to the forest, and the forest is dangerous. Now, if the mine is in town, you just created an entryway for the monsters in the forest to come into town. Oh no, we got an old ruin in the mine. Why does this sound so familiar? God, where have I heard this before? Why, it's almost like I played the previous East game and had the same plot line. Does it lead to some old ruin? No surprise, there'd be monsters in a place like that. That's why, this is why it all wrote so freaking much. He just wrote the same thing a hundred times. Oh, he's got hundreds of volumes of being an adventure. They all read the exact same, but hey. That's what we have the army for. Yeah, they ain't gonna do shit. Where's Commander Leo? Oh yeah, he's dead already. He's not here. He's out doing some kind of military exercise. Oh, they're just panicking. Great soldiers. Great. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm sure there's people stuck in the mine just like last time. Let's get to the mine. I like that. I, I do like that. Th these people are like, alright, let's go help. And most of these people are not the adventuring type. And yet, everyone's going down to go help the miners. Good on them! Good on you people. Hey, I have instructions now. Does this mean I finally have control of the game? Xbox defaults shown. 
Buttons display and custom mappings can be set in the options. Now, I like that. Now, I don't like that this thing has the Xbox things, but when you're actually playing it, it actually will give you... There is an option where you can have the Xbox buttons, the PlayStation buttons, keyboard and mouse buttons, or generic PC buttons, you know, one, two, three, like the old PC controllers had before they went, you know what, fuck it, it's Xbox, Microsoft... So, if you had a PlayStation DualShock controller hooked up to your computer, which there are plenty of ways to do that, you can actually have it show the proper buttons on the screen. That's a good idea. More companies should do it. I mean, most of them default to Xbox anymore anyway, because, well, like I said, Microsoft, the Xbox controls are drivers are built into Windows anymore. It's really easy. That's, that's what I use. Hook up an Xbox 360 controller and go. Or Xbox One in this case. Okay, press uh, press X when talk... Or press A when talk appears. Press A with an exclamation mark. Additional options! Yes. Yes, they would have to. You can't just copy it over and port it. But I do, again, I do like that they're pointing out, you know, hey, this is a PC version. We do let you do more. And I just got an achievement. For actually getting to the part where you can control the game. That's an achievement. You had to sit through all that, man. It was rough. I didn't know I could make it, but here we are. Alright, let's talk to... Okay, I still have that problem where I, you know, go one way. But the stick kind of flips back, and it flips back so hard that it turns you around. These, oh, things like this have been known to happen. Yes, apparently they have, because what happened last time. How about you? What do you have to say? Wait, don't they have homes to go to? Or do they all live here? Whee! Hey, Hitler, what do you got for me? A monster in the mines! Probably. I am a man! Oh. Okay, wow. I am getting... If anyone has ever seen a top the fourth wall, especially in the early days, I am a man! Punch. Yep. Yep. Oh, hey. Okay, let's see what we got. What kind of gear we got. Weapon. Nothing. Armor. He's got a sword in the picture! What? If he doesn't have a weapon, why does he have a weapon? Leather armor. Okay, if I take it off, does it change my look? Does not appear to. Boo! No accessories. Skills. His head is as empty as ever. Items. Nothing. Well, I mean, that doesn't make sense. It does make sense. Journal. Lost memories. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's got a bestiary. Thank you. That right there. The monsters tab. That is a great thing to have. There's no reason not to. It's good. And, of course, the name tag thing is sitting on top of the records picture, but whatever. But what was that extra skill? Soul Breaker. Soul Breaker? You can destroy the sun? Wait, that means this takes place on Earth. Because, you know, soul is our star. Maybe it takes place on Mars. I don't know. Various quests are displayed on the board. Except, apparently, they're not. So, I should probably go and help the miners. Pardon me, sir. Where is town or where is the mine? Probably that way. Okay. You know, good on you, game. That's a great way of saying where something is. It's like, I need to find the mine. There's a bunch of miners running that way. Okay. There's the save. That's how you save. All right. All right. Let's do that. System. Save. Ooh, 40, 60, 
300 save files! How many times are you supposed to play this game? What game needs 300 save files? I mean, I suppose if you, like, make every save a different file, but... And there are some games I've done that. Ooh, I have a dash. <gasps> Whee! Hi. Whee! What else we got? Can I jump? That's not a jump. I don't have a jump button. I have a dash, but no jump. I am not sure what I think about that. All right, what do we got? So there's purple hair. She is actually helping, so good kudos to her. Gets the soldiers to get... There we go. Okay, see? See? She's already better than this Leo chap. Griselda. That is an unfortunate name. <laughs> what an asshole! Yeah, I just wanted to watch him do nothing while people died. Yeah, that's gonna be ruined. You're also an asshole! Are you the last? The Head Miner still doesn't have a name, just The Head Miner. Help them! How many are left? Okay, so you, you, you three have heard that. So who's the, who's the tubby soldier here? She is the commander. Oh, you poor, poor fool. Oh, you poor bastards. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell is this? I've got some graphics problems going on. I don't think this is normal. I don't think this is normal, because as soon as that glowing orb showed up, look what it did to the graphics. I'm betting it's an HDR problem. No! This is normal! Look at the pictures in the screen! You will find certain locations in, tar in which target circles appear. Approach them, press Y, and an event will occur. Circle is red, use a different character. But no, look, it's hard to tell. But if you look closely at the pictures, the same distortion effect is going on. But it's not happening to the big picture as a whole. So, no, the orb is actually causing this. This is normal. This is not a graphics problem. And that's the problem, is it's really hard. Okay, you can see it a lot better here. It's hard to tell something like that on a PC if you've just like, if your video card has just decided to crap out or what, but you can regain lost memories by touching the orb of light. All right, well, let's go. Okay, can I like, if I look around? Yeah, the further I get from it, it goes away. I mean, it's still on screen, but. Yeah, that distortion effect is intentional. That's a very odd effect. But, like I say, the, the picture's in the in the thing. And I mean, that's, that's a picture, that's an image that they've made. Has that effect in it, so... Okay. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard that you repelled one of Sis's knives with just your sword. She never misses. 
Okay, so I can I deflect the weapons now. Courage you have displayed by crossing the territory of the beasts. Yeah, he might not look like much, but his skill with the sword is really something. Okay, so You'll I'm learning how to use a sword. One -on -one sometime. I'm learning how to use a sword. Maximum hit points have increased. Yay! And you're not going to miss one of those with that effect on the screen. Sword? I was a sword. Was I a swordsman? There we go. I have to help! Okay, memories. Okay, so you can rewatch it as many times. I like that. I like that. And the effect is gone. Yes. Do I have a sword yet? I don't have a sword. So how am I supposed to get in there if I don't have a sword? Hey! Give me a sword. Give me a sword. All right, well, fuck it. Wait, what are you doing in there? Wow, these guards are really... No items. Interesting map effect, too, that it does blur out until you get there. Okay, so there's a cave-in over there. I'm not seeing any type of... St of stamina so I can jump and roll or Hold roll on. around as much as possible what are you doing in here oh it's him okay well yeah I'm gonna go help him duh that's what I do I heard a strange voice yeah regain some memories Oh, now what? 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 That's racist! I mean, wait, what? Oh, yes, do-gooders. Okay, yes. Yeah, I'm absolutely one of them. Probably. <gasps> Yay, I got a sword, finally! And they kept the music. They kept the music. I like that. I like that they kept that music. I mean, it's a slightly variant of it, but... I don't want your corpse on my conscience. <laughs> Maybe? Oh, hey, he's gonna be with me. Yay! Thanks. Wow. What is it, Sun Sundari? Sundari? <laughs> I'm not helping you because I like you. Sh shut up. <laughs> ah, we got a party going now. Yay! Yes, I know how to use equipment. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, an absolute bitch basic sword. No items. Hey! Now I have an... Ooh. Oh, that's cool. If you don't attack for a while, you get a built-up version. What do we got here? So we got one of these save monuments. You hit it. And it heals you. I touched it. You watched me! <laughs> no, these statues are very nice and important. Yep, see? It is good stuff. So, let's touch the ta statue again. Ah, uh, system save. Let's actually go ahead and go across the saves that way. We'll go across the first row. We're not going to use all 300, though. I see monsters! Well, not icy monsters. They don't look very cold, but... 
Yes, these are monsters, all right. Are you kidding? They're just animals that live here. It feels pretty natural. Let's go kill them. Oh, sure. You stay here. Watch me die. Oh, we got a guard button, too. Let's see. Right trigger. Here we go. And you can switch characters. That's an evasion button. Sweet. Rising Edge, I learned a skill? Oh yeah, I can sword fight. You learned a skill in that fight too. How did you know this? What sense does that make in the world? Hey, you have a skill, did you make sure you equipped it? What? 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 How? What? I, I thought I just knew it. No, you gotta equip the skills first. It's like Pokemon. Once the skill's been learned, you can set it to a button. Skills can be used when set, obviously. Hold your attack until your character flashes. Oh! Charged attacks gain SP. Interesting. And then left trigger and the four buttons. Okay. Trigger B. Rising Edge. What's in here? Ooh, hello. Wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that, but that works. My strikes aren't to get My strikes aren't too effective against soft body creatures. Interesting. You okay. Uh ineffective and effective Oh cool, so it's got color codes then. And blue and yellow are far enough apart that colorblind shouldn't be a problem. Oh, we got three different attack types. Interesting. Oh, cool. We actually get to see. We can scan our enemies. Ow, ow. Leave it to me. Give you one of these. Honey potion. <laughs> wow. It is really tempting to use that option. Always good to keep a few in hand. Use one or forever hold your peace. So we got healing now too. I'm not sure if I should actually be going this way yet. I also should stop doing that. I keep trying to jump around, but... No weakness. Oh, hey! And we get weapon drops, or item drops, too. Hey, treasure chest! Mine. Too slow, buddy. Oh, we found Mama! Fonza, you okay? I think my leg's broken! How are these two soldiers? Stop whining, or the commander's gonna yell at us when he gets back. Dude, if he's got a broken leg. Go away! Shoo! Shoo! No, he doesn't wear shoes. Have we tried boot? We are here to help! Yes, we have come to save the soldiers. 
That's just pathetic. You had to go and save it. Now I can't run away. Yes, it looks like a kind of mini boss, so. Skill hits a foe, the more the gauge will go up, when the extra gauge is at max, you can wreck everything, okay. Oh, skill finish, nice. Ow! Double ow, triple ow, I died. Oh, that thing just wrecked me, alright. Well, I guess I'm loading now. I'm going to get the treasure chest and then... Ah, you know what? Let's actually go the other way first and see what happens. I was going to say I was going to get the treasure chest and bail, but... Eh, let's just keep looking. There is no other place to go, is there? There is no other place to go. Why did I think there was somewhere I hadn't been yet? Oh, this is why. Okay, this room. Ah, okay. This is where the thing forked. Okay, yeah, so the mini boss kicked my ass. Oh, yeah, don't mash through, because we actually have dialogue in this. And I did better that time. Learn skill. Oops. Oh, okay. You know, I like the fact that it's got where it is down in the corner down there. Okay, so what's over here? Absolutely nothing. Dang. I guess I have to actually go do that fight and try to do it better this time. Well, I mean, I am playing on hard, so... Nope, nothing left. Yeah, I was totally not. I was like, hey, what is this thing? And he starts attacking it. Oh my god, what are you doing? Attack rocks to get coal. What is this, Minecraft? God, I don't want to play Minecraft. There's too many games that I want to play. What the hell? WoW, Classic, Forza, this. Minecraft. For the record, this game is on sale right now on Humble Bumble. I didn't know it was on sale when I decided to play it. In fact, I decided to play it a while ago. So it just happens to be lined up perfectly. That I'm playing this. And I do highly recommend. I don't know how long the sale is going to last. Probably not. Probably by the time this is on YouTube, the sale will be gone. But... I do highly recommend, in particular, you know, East Chronicles 1 and 2. They're weird, but I like them. I mean, you shouldn't, those are the ones that should not be as fun as they actually really are. I'm going back and saving. Oh, wait. I tried to attack my friend there for a little bit. Ow! That's another reason why I'm going back and saving. I just took some damage. Sturdy hide. I am getting hides. I might try to level up in here first. You know, one extra level could make a big difference. Supposed to be using those skills. Aerial combos. Yeah. 
You get bonuses for bouncing them. I like it. I really do like that. You get a lot of money and such from doing that. Oh, oh looks like I'm about to level. Think that'll make a difference? Gotta hope so. Da 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 da! And I missed. And now he's leveled. All right, go save and try this again. God, there's no confirmation on the saving, and that's weird. All right, as long as I don't get hit. And we should be good. As long as I don't get hit by the enemies in here, I should have no problem against the boss. Okay, that came back. Ooh, iron ore this time. Oh, uh, there's going to be crafting in there. Kind of crafting. It's, it's not going to be so much crafting as I'm going to need to give a merchant specific items. Ow, damn, damn. That's what I wanted to avoid. Well, let's find out what happens anyway. That's a lot of cool stuff I just got too, dang. I do like that it shows you down there what type of attack they have. That my silver-haired friend has strike. Wah, wah, wah. We've already heard this. We're here to help. Well, we can't run away now. Okay, don't forget to block this time. And I have the dodge, so don't forget that. Oh, that thing's dead. That thing is very dead. Uh, hi, guys. Come on now. No, no, they, you were probably going to die. We are the heroes! Uh, if they do that, they're kind of going to get killed or, you know, fired maybe, chewed out at any rate. So why are you a soldier? It's like you're going to go back and the general up there who's mad that you haven't saved everybody is still going to be mad that you haven't saved everybody. Well, some other people came down and started saving us. Well, that he was busy getting the stuff over there while I was, you know, fighting. Whoa! We have a swimming mechanic. And I can indeed... Dodge and such while something. Aww. Aww. It invisible walled me. Look at this. I guess it's not totally invisible, but that's an invisible wall right there. Look at that. Oh, that's a weird effect the water has. That's the wrong button. Iron ingots. It to me. No, I switched. Level up! Yay! Yeah, you back the hell off.
I am. Whoa, hello. Fine, take control away from me. Can you pick locks? He's right, the gate is locked. Well, then we gotta figure out how to open it. Let's look for the key. Probably not. I mean. You know, logically, there shouldn't be a key nearby, but... Oh, hey, look, there's the key. Or not. Everything is locked! Oh, wait, you can pop this lock. Okay, well, we now have someone who can open locks. And the mine key is in this one. That's not the right button. Damn, it's a sturdy chest. There we go! He picked the lock by kicking it. I mean, pick, kick, they rhyme. I guess they're close enough. Alright, let's go open the gate. No. I keep wanting to jump around. But there's no jump, there's just this... Oh, I guess I did go the right way. Yeah, okay, that that was the right way to go. It was the only way to go. Whee, I'm a fish. Gate is locked up tight. Use the key. The gate is now unlocked. Yay, hey, treasure chest. Mine, dibs! Honey potion. Alright, so what have we got in here? More water. The camera changed. More level ups. Wait, do I have a skill? Is this guy? He does. the one shell cracker all right I see it statue let's clear the place out first rota droplet Stop that. no save we are making progress kind of Oh, this is going to be a boss. This is going to be a boss. I don't want it to be a boss. This place feels a lot different from the rest of the mine. Yes, the ruins. And hence the boss. Oh, that is a big thing. That is a big thing. Is that... Hold on. Do we got to punch it in the nuts? I've got to punch it in the nuts. Okay. Obtain SP. Charge the extra. Unleash extra. That was the wrong button. Interesting. I, because of when I dodged, I got a special thing.
Ow, ow. Yeah, the Roto Droplet's the health recovery here. Soul Breaker! Oh, that is a lot of health this thing has. Ow. No weakness, so screw it. Go back to you. So if you can time the dodges... I'm not doing well at timing these. They're hitting the wrong button. Oh, I pissed it off. Alright, that did that killed me. So that apparently was when I was supposed to hit it. Yeah. Very dead. <sighs> I am not sure about this. I think it's ready to go, so... Dang it! That was the wrong button. 
That was also the wrong button. Ah! Timing's going to shit. Dang it. I am not doing well. I might have to go level up again. Okay, it's not dodging when I want it to. Dang, so close. I'm going to go level. Or not, apparently. System load. Yep, I need a couple levels on me, or at least another level on me. I'm going to do this. Also helps to hit the right buttons. Actually, kind of confusing which buttons to hit when. Leave it to me. Uh, a lot of stuff to try to hit. So, of course, I was smart and went on hard. Yeah, that was dumb. That was dumb. I mean, this game is surprisingly skill-based, to be entirely honest. There are ways to mitigate damage. So my usual complaints about things like that, not really valid here. Like, this is a skill-based game. You can avoid the damage. You get rewarded for doing so. My timing just sucks right now. Because it's my first time playing it. This game is very combo focused as well. Or not, not combo focused like that. I mean, like, you do one thing so that you can do something else so that you can do something else. Like, you use the regular moves in the right order. So that I can use that. Ooh, skill finish. Nice. Yeah, you do the regular moves so that you can do the skills so that you can... Do 
use your final power-up thing down there. I think these forever to build, too. gonna be able to do it repeatedly on that boss. I should have waited for it to open up and then do it. Man, oops, hit the wrong button again. This leveling isn't so bad right now. I mean, I'm sure it'll get harder. Oh, we actually do have, we had a health bar there, or an air bar, I think, for a little bit. Oh, I'm taking some damage. Huh, wonder where. Probably there. Different characters for different enemies. Yeah, this game has a lot of good mechanics going for it. Leave it to me. And back through there. Go kill these things again, and hopefully that'll level me. If not, I go back and try some more. Maybe I came close enough that maybe one more level. You know what? I'm gonna move. Well, let me. Hold on. I'm going to move my logos around here. Let's get this out of the way. Because I don't think really much has happened in this corner up there yet. And if I do that... Mm -hmm. I said, if I do that... Yeah, it's not really in the way there either, so... Cursor. That's what I need to do. I need to get the cursor off of me. Professional. What can I say? Come on, level up, level me up, level me up, level me up, level me up! Yay! Yay! It did it! So, let's try this again. Yeah, 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 this room feels different. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up and let's fight. Fight the Gonad Warrior. All Devos. Hold on. Gotta remember how to fight. kind of reward for doing this without getting hit. Probably is.
Ah, well, there goes that. Almost there, almost knocked you over. There. Oh, this guy's gone now. Yeah, let's dodge right into that one. Got him! See? Number one, doing the combo or doing that final move at the right time. Number two, a bit more strength and power from the leveling up. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Woo, that was close. It really was. You're pretty strong. Thank y'all. You think so? Yeah, no one's more surprised than I am. Literally, because I have no idea what I can do. That, well, that's probably true right there. You two! You saved us! He has a name! Wagner! Wagner? I'm just a passing philanthropist. No, I'm glad you're okay. You know, I think it's going to be a case where you almost always want to hit the default option. You literally saved all our lives from certain doom. Yeah, well, we won. Yay! We are the champions. At least... Da -da -da. There is something worth noting that occurred just in the next area. Oh, we got glowing statues again. God, this really is the third game again. What kind of statue? What kind of ruin is this? Let's go with that one. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, we run into ruins all the time, man. So this isn't the first time this has happened to you! Yes, yes I do. I want to see more. Okay, we're leaving. Bye! You know, there, there are other monsters on the way out. So you're into these kind of places, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go save... Or, I guess, just keep moving forward. Let's see what's in the ruins. That would be a statue. You know, it's kind of what they said it was. How is there this much light down here? No, it was, he was talking about the other statue. And dead. Statue, you psychic. It's super effective. Huh. False sanctuary. Oh. God speaks to it all, Christian. Adol, at all? I have no idea. Uh, I think so. I, c I couldn't hear if it was the same voice or not. Holy shit, what's this? S 
silver wing. Hold on. The statue gave it to me. Oh, uh, probably. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've got amnesia. Definitely something went on in this world a long time ago. That's what, what is up with games like this? We've got all these ancient ruins that have all this special stuff. Yeah, okay. I want to hear about that civilization. Can we have one that actually takes place in the ancient ruins before they're ancient ruins so we know what the hell's going on? Please? Maybe that's it. Maybe every game that doesn't actually have the ancient ruins is taking place in a game world that eventually becomes the ancient ruins. So there you go. Think about that one for a second. Let's go. Let's yes. Go. Okay, first off, items, artifacts. 13 swords in this game. Wow, that is a huge increase from previous games, which gave you four or five. 13 gauntlets, 16 types of armor, 23 materials, 35 beast materials. Man, they have really increased the item amounts. Look at this. Filthy liquid. Can be exchanged. Cracked shell, damaged hide. Now you want the good ones, the sturdy hide, the sturdy shell, the clear liquid. Key items. The journal. Warp between monuments of same color. Cool. And a mine key. So 20 of them. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, only between monuments of the same color, though. Oh, hello. Silverwing is doing something. It's resonating with the monument. Let's take a closer look. Now we're going to learn. Yay! Can now be used to warp between stone monuments. That's awesome. Of the same color and shape. Oh, see, now it's changing color and shape. That's kind of a caveat to make it so you can't just go to any one you want. So we can go to the depth, deepest of the mine or to the beginning of the mine. Well, I'm going to stay down here and fight my way back out so that I get some XP. But I like that it has that option. Again, this game kind of does have speedrunning in mind. And in fact, I should probably check and see what kind of speedrunning records this game had. There are no enemies left, are there? Okay, fine. The game's like, use the wings. <coughs> Pardon me. Kind of dry in here today. Not really dusty, I hope. I hope, but dry. And there's the last of my drink. Yay! How did we get here? Monuments? Yes. No, the wing did. You're the information broker. You tell me. You're the one who's supposed to know all this stuff. It's them, the heroes! Yay! You're under arrest! Yay! We're not going to give you anything. You know, she seems nice. A fitting name for someone so brave and approachable. Oh yeah, she's evil. <laughs> Not only the miners, but some of our soldiers. Yay! Yep, where you get arrested. What do you bet? How dare you interfere? To the dungeons!
quite the coincidence. Coincidence? What coincidence? Oh, Asteria again. Wasn't that in the previous game? Are we sure this isn't just East 3 again? Okay, so that is... Okay, they are referencing the East 3 stuff. Yeah, that, that was me. And I, I do appreciate that reference there. I, I do appreciate the reference. It shows that these games actually are somewhat connected. Because it is the same person doing all this stuff. Yeah, this dude right here is the most important man in the freaking world. Because of how many times he has saved it. I mean, you get other roleplay games. Like, even take Legend of Zelda, for example. It's not always the same link. Legend of Zelda is a world trapped in a time loop where Ganon, Zelda, and Link keep showing up. But it's different generations where they show up all the damn time. And you know, the world would be safe if they would just stop naming kids Link. But on the other hand, everyone wants to be the hero. So I'm sure there's Link running all over that world. You got Link's all the damn time. Probably the most popular name. Or Breath of Fire with Ryu. Uh, as far as I know, all five... Okay, I think there was a sixth Breath of Fire game. Yeah, there was an MMO that we didn't get here, so there's that. But Breath of Fire 1, 2, 3, 4, and Dragon Quarter, which is just bad, all had Ryu as the main character, but it was always a different Ryu. Whereas this, it's the same dude through all of them. And I'm not saying that every every link was a different link, because no, some of them absolutely were connected. Um, Wind Waker, Spirit Tracks, Phantom Hourglass, that's all the same one. I I don't know if Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask were the same one. At any rate, let's see. I'd like to extend the deepest thanks for all you've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One other issue. You're under arrest! Uh, I've, I've heard of it. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> well, we lost something. Few have ever returned alive. Oh, so now you want me to go do that. Yep, I saw that coming. That's not the worst idea, honestly. I actually like that as a hook for the game. We have this area that is incredibly dangerous. There's something mystic about it. Lots of lots of monsters running around. You've proven that you are a very competent fighter adventurer. Go map this area. You don't see something like that very often. I mean, I guess there's a Tyrion Odyssey. But I like this. I really do. Really? Every melee? Every melee? You mean every mile? You just don't want to say mile? You got to make it sound fantasy sounding. Woo! Tomorrow we will formally announce it. First, with a large sum of gold. Oh, that's bad. Oh man, you're making a go you're gonna get people killed. Oh, that is a lot of money. Well, I say we do it. I like this hook. I actually really do. For a game that I've been complaining... Turn it the right way, thank you. For a game I've been complaining about sounding very samey, especially within the series, 
I don't think I've ever heard of that as a hook for something. And it makes sense, too. <laughs> wow, magical closing doors. Yay! Don't go in here! Hi. No. At least you're... Okay, you guys obviously have some competent soldiers. Why did you send in the idiot brigade? Captain. No, agent. Okay. Yes, we are. I'm just looking around the castle. That's all. No, I think I'm going to enjoy this game a lot. Mustachioed man. Oh. Are you the, are you the general? <laughs> Damn straight. Really, I don't like either of these, but whatever. Damn straight. Cuz I'm a genius, of course, cuz he has the only person in town with bright red hair. I am the great Leo. I knew it. Of the self army and the finest swordsman around. And I love the voice acting. Don't you start getting cocky just because you took down a little monster while I was away. <laughs> I like him. I like him already. If I'd been here, I would have defeated it in a tenth of the time. With such skill and grace, you would have been left speechless. I could probably already take this guy. <laughs> the laugh could use some improvement, but I do appreciate the voice acting. Oh, boy. Well, yeah. Okay, so... I'm still going to keep playing for another half hour or so, but... We've at least completed the first kind of checkpoint. Oh! Oh, Dern, you have no idea. Also, what happened to the whole... I'm only going to show you part way. Yeah, I'm going to accept it. You bet your ass I am. At all. Why am I not surprised? You heard 30 million golds. Yeah, you just want the reward money. <laughs> you want to get your memories back? That probably, probably... I, I don't know, what, did I leave them in there? Like, shit, I dropped my memories again. Can you help me find them? <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong, so... We'll, we'll just go with it. Then he has proven useful. And this is true. Having a party is safer than going alone. Which, this is the first East game I've seen with a party like that. And yes, I have played a couple other East games than I've seen on the stream. Because usually, I mean... Oh, what was his name in the previous game? He didn't actually go with you. I mean, he was there, but... He was never actually a party member, as it were. And Origins has different characters, but I don't think they play together. I didn't play that far into that one. Six, you're still just you. Immediately began preparing for the road ahead. Map! Get! Let's do some shopping. Quests! Oh, yes! Quests! Those are good. Every time you complete a quest, you get a reward. So we get mini quests, we get all kinds of stuff. This is going to be fun. Alright, let's go have a closer look. I'm closer. Is this close enough yet? No. I'm actually hit, hitting up and it keeps flipping me around like that. So that's the stick springing back with such gusto. 
and apparently there's not a lot of dead zone in this, so it flips me around. Whoa! Whoa! A Mel... or two Melkefabros. For more details, talk to Hitler. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's not even... You can't just accept them from the board. The board here tells you that the quest exists, and then you have to go talk to the guy about it. Which is more realistic. So we gotta go talk to Hitler. Talk to a soldier. Twenty chunks of iron ore. Well, I don't have that much, yes, but interesting. That's a lot of money too. Spotted in planes right by the forest. So go talk to the waitress. Yeah, a couple people from it. Alright, let's go talk to Hitler. Yeah, this guy's a little odd. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I thought I muted it, and I guess I unmuted it while I was still coughing. See, I'm terrible today. Very professional streamer. Very professional. Off the damn screen. You know what? Hold on a second. Let's actually take this off the screen. Properties. Capture cursor. Okay. Oh, oh, no more. Oops, I didn't read that. Dang it! You have a journal. You can make note of your progress. Materials found. Take lots of notes. Journals are good. So we're going to read up some of this stuff. Camp menu... Do I got to see the notes again? Because I missed the one. Well, I'm not going to go outside yet. I'm going to talk to the guy. But first... Journal. Quests. It actually does list them. So you do have them. You just got to go talk to them. What's happened in the story so far? Item drops. So he has 1,240 hit points. Good God. The Mole Moth wasn't even a boss. Kamol, Kamol, Kamolmo. Wow, I cannot talk. Weak to nothing. Weak to slash. Weak to strike. Weak to nothing. He's got strong hair, though. Didn't find any of that. Okay, so there's where you can get some more iron ores off the Cutro. It shows you what monsters drop them. Oh, that's cute. Again, this kind of information right here, this kind of bestiary, I think every RPG should have one. And this is really well done in that you can see, like, okay, well, where do I get coal? Well, not from any enemies, but you can get it from the mine. Recently, anyway. How about the iron ore? Well, the cutros drop them, and you can get them in the mine. Ingots? Yeah, nowhere yet. So there's harvest locations... Okay, manual. Hey! <gasps> I can read that one again. Good. Quests are displayed. Examine the quest board automatically. Automatically adds it to your journal. There we go. Yeah. This is good. All right, Hitler. I thought you had a quest icon over your head. That's not a quest icon. Could you have seen my request on the board? What do you want us to do? Exterminate the... No. Refining your finest products. Muscle milkshake. You need... Fabros milk. So I gotta go find Fabroses and milk them. Cool. Milking a wild beast. Wow, there's a quest for you. <laughs> I 
Oh, oh, that would have been unfortunate. Hmm, this milk tastes salty. Look at the horns. Males have three, females have one. Well, that's easy enough. They're very cautious. You won't find many of them. It will run away. You have to sneak up on it. <laughs> I already don't think this is going to be a good quest. Wow, I did not need to hear that from Hitler. You know, if, if, if I had actually tried monetizing my YouTube, talking about Hitler all the time would have completely demonetized this video. But that's totally Hitler! Now you're too old to milk Fabros. Okay. There's a patch of field with a known grace. Oh, you're even going to put it on the map. Why, thank you. That at least is helpful. And that's not. All right, let's talk to you. What happened to the quest marker over here? Okay. Oh, okay. So the quest marker isn't there when you can actually talk. That overwrites the quest marker. Turn around. Yes, I'm here about Langritz. In the governor's office. Alright. You don't have any information other than that, though. Alright, so now he's going to teach me about town. A few shops worth mentioning. And I like the fact that the camera pans over so you know where it is. Billy's Curios. Health potions and antidotes. Weapons. And armor. Yes. Yes, let us go there first. Oh, okay. You just warped us in there. Thomas! I have a shop mark above them. Yes, that would generally be how you use a shop. I mean, okay, I, I can't be too upset that the game is trying to cater to people who have never played a video game before. It's one of those conundrums where it's a video game. People who like video games play video games. But everyone's got a first video game, so you can't expect everyone to know all the mechanics right off the bat. And since instruction manuals are a thing of the past, we bought this digitally anyway. We don't have the nice pieces of paper. They all have to be done via tutorials. I don't want to go around the trading post yet. Okay, but I don't want to go downstairs yet. I want to talk to you. What do you got? What do you got? Short sword, long saber. Brass knuckle, steel gauntlet. It only goes up by one? Fuck that. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Strength 8, strength 26. Strength 9, strength 28. So plus 18, plus 19. There you go. Oh, oh, we got, we got someone who's going to use daggers. We got someone who's going to use a spear. Someone is going to use a club. That is expensive. Or a, that is a very high-end club, a 108. You can kind of tell when we're going to find these guys. Hmm, 26, 46, 58, 108. And given how much room on the side there, probably three more characters worth, yeah. Armor. Definitely ought to buy at least one of these. Defense 9, defense 24. Buy one of them. Yes. And Adol is going to put it on. Oh, what do you. What, let's, let's talk to this guy. Make sure you're prepared to tackle the Great Forest. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Let's put that on. Let's, let's not do what I've done before. 
Because if you remember when I was playing East 3, I, I went and you know, had, a, had a hard enemy, hard boss, having trouble killing it. Went, and I got new armor. And I went back to the boss and beat the boss. I didn't put the armor on. Whoops. So let's actually equip the armor. Does it change his look? I'm disappointed in you, game. Previous ones would change the look. Oh well, if nothing else, I have more armor now. And in the East games, the armor does seem... Most games, I would much prefer to have a better weapon before armor. In the East games, having a defense seems to matter more. Goldsmith Trading Post. Bunch of handy shops nearby. And a dude standing in front of the yellow. That's supposed to be a fire, it's just yellow. Actually, given that that's the forge, I can kind of see that. So it's going to be really warm standing there. Oh, reinforced! Reinforce! Emeralds can be used to raise the poison stat. Oh, that's kind of cool. Attack. Absorb. So this is for weapons. More attack. Recover hit points from attacking enemies. I like that one. That's going to be a critical one. SP game, poison, paralysis, burning and freezing. And you're going to show me, there we go. Defense, recovery, it's another one I'm going to want. Evasion, movement speed, awesome. Ore into metals and gems. Do you plan on doing reinforcement? Okay. Keep it all in mind. Set amount of gold and coal based on the value of the materials. Oh yeah, we're going to be doing lots of that. This is going to be a long game. I'm going to be playing this for a while, probably. Goldsmith, the shop owner. Exchange ore, he'll give you a higher quality. Sweet. Best price of them all. Well, I'm, I mean, that actually does kind of make sense because he's a shopkeeper. He's going to want all kinds of crap. Okay, so there. So all of our broken stuff can be made into higher stuff. First off, let's actually see what you got. Reinforce the iron. The ingot can only make it one defense stronger, which is good! Which is good! But I'm not going to do it. Refine an ingot takes three... Silver takes silver, gold takes gold, greenstone, yellowstone. See, now that shouldn't work, man. You, sh you can't combine three stones to make an emerald. Topaz, ruby, sapphire, amethyst, onyx, diamond. Blackstone, starlight stone. Cool. And, oh, what does the shop have? Gold pedestal. Gold pedestal replica. Wow. That's ten times the price, too. What are those? See, an ancient treasure and a replica. Interesting. Interesting. So here's the iron ore times 20. So... I can turn coal into iron ore. I can turn iron ore into silver ore. Strange mass becomes... Stones. Beast materials. Don't have that. But I do have that. I can make some of those. And that's free. I can make one of them. Could make a few of those. 
and plant material. Cool. I have no idea what to do with the bones and all yet, though. You don't do anything with them, do you? Nope, just iron ingots. So what am I supposed to do with those materials? Oh, main entrance is the other way, right. You want to go out the main entrance because it's trying to tell you where the entrance is. No, oh, thank you. She's such a sun sundary. I can't pronounce that. This is true. You'll be making money. You'll be making lots of money. And I did buy new armor, so I at least have something new. Not really, no. I mean, I'm sure it would look better if the trees weren't all flat. Then again, some people really do like the way a forest looks. I've lived in one. Eh. <laughs> Vast sea of trees. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to start exploring it. Made it back alive once already. What do we got over there? The big tree. Towers over all the others. Roughly there. Roughly. That might be something to start with. Here ish. I like that. I, again, I do like that. Here's a couple pieces of information. This is about all we have, so... Well, first we gotta go talk to the general. I mean, you know, we gotta agree with him. Terrain of known areas, towns and dungeons, harvest points, soaring quest goals. I like it. I like it. Minimap. And the town map shows us where everything is. Map completion and rewards. Ten reward tiers, probably every ten percent. I mean, yeah. I'm more psyched for this game than I was before, that's for sure. There's a soldier in here somewhere that had a quest that wanted me to talk to him. He's either in or near this building. We do want to talk to you and tell you that we accept. Don't, don't stress the rewards too much. Why not? That's literally... You are putting a... You are hiring mercenaries to do mapping for you. Yeah. I like that. You can just walk into the governor's office whenever. So maybe this one isn't evil. I like her already. Now, of course, you're going to have to confirm all the map. Qu of course, even then doing that, you could end up with a group of people who get together and decide to just fake a map. And then, well, they've confirmed each other's maps, so they must be accurate. Soldier Jimmy! Well, I guess I can't find where the dude of the quest was. <laughs> there he is. There you are, Questy McQuesterson. Yoda Wallace. Freedom! 
That's me. Yep. Well, it depends on the details, right? Run a little, little errand. Oh, okay. You need some honey potions. No, he's a soldier. He's on duty. Yeah. How many do you need? So, give us the money. 120 brittle bones. I mean, he's not wrong, because he can sell the bones. Exchange them, then sell them. Still feel cheated somehow. Alright, let's get it over with. However, I think... I didn't actually use any of them in the one... Yep! I did not actually use any in that fight, so... I already had them. They're not from the market, they're from the mine. Wait, you bought the wrong thing, huh? Bitter potions. So we gotta find out what these bitter potions do. Bottoms up! <sighs> yes, I too like cough syrup. I mean, actually, that's not a, that's not much of a joke. People do that. They drink fucking cough syrup. Orange or grape drink. Yay, I completed a quest! I am amazing! So let's actually look and see what are these things I got. Recovers 500! Well, I'm not going to need to use those anytime soon, hopefully. Let's save the game. That actually should end it for the day, because... And do a day save down here. Okay. Yeah, that should actually end it for the day. I mean, you know, I didn't go do more exploring, but I did check out the town at least. Do some questing and all that. Found out where the shops are. Did buy some new armor for it all here. This seems like it's going to be more comprehensive than the other East games that I've played. Which does mean, and it is a newer game. It is going to be probably more expansive than the next East games I get to on stream when I get to them. Because I am planning on doing Origins and 6 at some point. I would do 5, but we don't have one. We never got a release of 5. Maybe Falcom will make another version of 5 like they did with 4 here and release that eventually. I don't know, but as it stands, we don't have a five, so we're going to see what happens. But this, it's a much bigger game already with all the variety of stuff you can do, and I like this, I, I do. I love the concept of go map the area out. The battle's good so far, the mechanics feel good. It's going to take me a while to get used to all the dodging and such. But if I can, it has the damage mitigation that I want from an action roleplay game. It has the features that should make for a good game. So fingers crossed here that I'm actually finally playing something enjoyable. But that's going to be it for today. And it's going to be a while playing this one, so that's okay. Until next time, Internet. Take care and enjoy the games you play.